tonight if you live in Brownsville you can save a little cash. <laughs> People who live there no longer have to pay a one dollar fee for plastic bags to carry their groceries or other goods home. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez reminds us though people have been paying this fee for the last six years. Daisy's live in Cameron County. The fees for those bags generated $4.4 million for the city of Brownsville. The state sued the city over that bag ordinance saying in essence it was another tax. Today the city is saying they are doing away with that practice. It's not uncommon to see folks in Brownsville carrying their reusable bags or rolling carts to the store. In 2011, city commissioners passed a plastic bag ordinance that with some exceptions banned stores from giving out plastic bags to customers. If you wanted a bag, you had to pay a dollar. Last night, um, the city commission voted to approve the Texas Attorney General's uh, settlement proposal, um, which at a minimum requires the city to repeal the fee portion of the plastic bag ordinance. The attorney general sued Brownsville over the bag ordinance. The city defended it. They agreed they don't want to go to court on the issue. The city commission and city leadership felt that it was in the best interest of the community uh, to not incur costs uh, and utilize taxpayer monies. Mayra Lozano paid her dollar again for unlimited plastic bags today. She says it's a hardship. Sometimes she's had to ask the customer next to her to loan her the money to pay for the bags. Sometimes we like batallamos, we like every, every time we come and like a dollar extra. It's not fair for us because sometimes we have no money. The bag ordinance was passed six years ago. City leaders claimed the city would benefit. They said it would help get rid of trash. Plans for the funds would go towards environmentally friendly projects and beautification funds. The city collected millions of dollars. This shopper is in favor of repealing the fee. Que lo haga. Sí, porque pues tenemos que comprar y en vez hay gente que no trae. Former Mayor Pat Almada, who was a driving force behind the ordinance, says the impact of the repeal goes far beyond a dollar. What is he fighting over? That we're helping the state of Texas keep Texas beautiful? We're helping this, the environment to protect the waterways from contamination that's killing wildlife? That we're reducing landfill waste that saves taxpayers and uh, money and, and, and space. Eugene Novogratsky says the city has looked cleaner since the ordinance went into effect. It is a bad thing because I don't like the decoration of the whole hojas plasticas in the trees. I want real leaves and not crazy little plastic bags. Novogratsky hopes people will stick to their reusable bags and continue to try to keep the city clean. The city used those $4.4 million that we mentioned earlier for things like street sweepers, recycling machines, beautification and cleanup of resacas, duck ponds, and other similar projects. Also, as part of the settlement, the city still has room to rework that ordinance as they see fit. Of course, we'll keep track any changes and let you know. Live from the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.